All right, we're ready to get started. <laughs> Whoa, getting dizzy. Getting busy, more like it. Check it out, guys. Obviously, I've got the Guatemalan coffee. Hey, what other way to start the day? But, I also have my table set up. Let me take you through the setup. All right, you'll have to bear with me on the sound of all the fans. I got my stand set up. This one's still down because I'm, I'm going to tack up one corner, move it over here, tack up the next corner in that corner. Let me show you what I got going on here. I got the trusty Harbor Freight table, Harbor Freight clamps, Harbor Freight magnet, Harbor Freight square. <laughs> but I got the magnet in there. I don't trust the magnet, so I set those far enough away where I can get a, get a square edge with the actual square. And I'm going to tack it up right here on the edge there and then remove the magnet tack it up on the inside and then start moving it around and then once I get it all tacked up I'm gonna weld it in place and then uh, go ahead and put that put the plate on and then be done with one at a time I don't have any kind of arc shot camera I was gonna use my welding helmet but I couldn't figure out how to set it up uh, so this isn't really a learning channel if you're trying to learn how to weld this is not the place <laughs> Cause I'm gonna give you many bad habits. Uh, what you're gonna want to do is go to go see Bob and them at weld.com, weld I think, uh, on YouTube. Jody at, at uh, Welding Tips and Tricks, uh, and even Tim Welds. I watch him sometimes, and I learn from those guys. Uh, you know, I know how to weld, but I, when I'm not welding, I'm watching welding videos. So here we go. Another thing, guys. Uh, so I don't have to use my own gas because I use non-ethanol in my in my generator and that stuff ain't cheap I'm gonna use their electricity and use this old 80 amp stick welder from Harbor Freight this thing's a little trooper I'm telling you the size of a lunchbox look at it look, I mean I got a big head but look you know what I mean it's not that big you strap this on your back Right, guys as you can see hopefully I got a couple good tacks on there one in this corner one in this corner and then one back there that I didn't get the slag off of I'll knock that off later when I'm I'll probably just burn through it honestly but it's not a bad looking uh, you know a few tacks those will hold while I uh, move it around and do it again don't get on to me too much for wearing short sleeves I'm just tacking you know some people are more sensitive to it and some people are uh, men <laughs> I'm just kidding but I'm just tacking right now you know when I'm doing long runs you saw me wearing the shirt the other day but when I'm tacking especially at just 69 amps come on now I'm not that sensitive to it I live in Florida it's just like being out in the Sun I don't wear sunblock and long sleeves all the time but if I'm gonna be out there for a while I'm gonna wear them.
All right, guys, check it out. This is the welds. I haven't wire wheeled it. That's just cleaned off with a brush, so there's still a little slag on there, as you can see. Obviously, some BBs, but I'm coming through, and you know, like I told you, I was trying to build up, so I kind of held on a little longer and pushed a little bit more back uh, over the sides too, corners. You can see it's sticking out a little far, because I'm gonna come back and grind it down flat, so that way it kind of looks like an all-one piece. And 6011, like I say, it'll put those little scallops in there. So you want to grind down past that. So I tried to build it up a little bit uh, on the edges and stuff. That one still has slag on it because I just got done welding that piece on. And then, you know, this one, obviously, the corner, I can't weld it with this stupid table. So I'm going to uh, take that out and weld it real quick. And then this one will be done. And I'll move on to the next ones. All right, guys, I got a couple doors done. I wanted to show you what they're actually going to look like. The end process. Now, the plate is going up at the left-hand corner on seven of them and the right-hand corner on uh, the other seven on the other side. And then this is 45 inches down, 48 inches across, one big square. I'll show you more later. Now... I just left the slag on them because I'm going to be grinding them down to flat so it doesn't look like, um, you know, so it looks like all one piece. So obviously I'm not going to leave that like that. <laughs> so let's, you know, left the slag on those. But you can see I'm stacking them dimes, boys. Tell me about it. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm about to eat my second breakfast. Uh, man, this is the part I love. Well, I could do this all day. You know, putting together something, fabricating. Um, you know, it's going to be a lot of the same. I'll probably get seven or eight of those doors done today. And then come back and do seven or eight tomorrow. I thought I was going to get the, um, be done by Wednesday, but call it Thursday. But I'll probably be here till Friday. You know how it goes, man. In your head, you get it to where it's like, oh, yeah, man, I can do it. <laughs> but that shit don't work. It's always a little longer, like a couple days longer than than what I thought. Of course, you know, I'm getting paid, so it don't matter to me. Now, what I like to do is quote way far above what <laughs> what, what I think I'm going to do anyway, so that way I'm I'm in the clear. It's time for me to put my... <laughs> I've been I've done two doors with uh, with no sleeves on them. I have to put my damn shirt on because shit's just popping back and, leave, you know, burning me. It's not that... I mean, I don't really get burned. I built that whole... That whole damn trailer with without wearing shirts. Some people are just more susceptible to it. You know what I mean? Um, I'm just out in the sun all the time. You know, it's, I'm just used to it, I guess. I don't know. I mean, my face isn't, obviously. Look at it. You know, before I moved to Florida, I looked younger. Now I look like <laughs> damn leather ball glove. Like ball glove face. Like 40-year-old ball glove face. You know, found, found your granddad's ball glove in the attic. And what did it look like? This. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna eat lunch. I want some privacy, motherfuckers. God dang.
All right, guys. I think you know what time it is. It is time to go. It's two o'clock. <laughs> so, as planned, I got seven of them done today. Well, welded. And I got the plates welded on the end to hold the latch. Got them welded both sides. I used 6011 both sides. It was enough to build up. You can see I built up some there. I went back over it just to melt it off even. The way you do that is after you do the little whip and pause thing. Or I like to do circles a lot of times. After you do that, it kind of leaves it scalloped. You can pull the arc back a little, or pull the electrode back a little bit. Get a little bit longer arc. And go over the top of it and it'll kind of even it out and it'll make it look more like a MIG a MIG weld and then that way that gives you something to to grind off a little bit more to grind off so you can see I did that there you can see where I built up the weld on those Boom. And all the places for the latches anyway fuck it man I'll see y'all on the way home all right guys <laughs> I had to pull over. I had to damn got me some new earbuds, some little bitty, some mini mighty, blah blah blah. They're like twenty bucks at Walmart. When I'm filling the floor, so I had to pull over. I was afraid of that, you know, just bending over and the shit just falling. <laughs> it, it, it one thing that irritates me the most in this world is when one of my earbuds falls out when I'm working, and I got this big old fucking glove, you know, clown gloves on, and I can't even damn. <laughs> put that motherfucker back in my ear and I'm like Argh! anyway I got all those doors done or got seven of them done I got seven more to do and then I'm going to clean them up and drill holes in them probably Friday I've got a system down now so I can go a little faster uh, I did pop the breaker reaching that motherfucker to a giant spider looked like it had two, in two heads you know like a head on both ends it was weird looking like it looked the same on one end as it did the other and it looked like it was just maybe it was two spiders fucking and I I kind of screwed it up for him dude's like bro bro what are you doing what are you doing in here holy shit I turned the light off for a reason <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah Friday Friday will be the last day and then I'm out of here out of here <laughs> uh, see you tomorrow